I wanted to bring him in on this. <laughs> Bob, I, I know it's a flight of fancy. You and I did not see those games, by the way. Yeah. We had to look those things up. But no. your thoughts on, no. uh, you know, what we're trying to accomplish here. We all love baseball. And the point I'm trying to make is baseball has been played in many different ways. Your thoughts on that thought experiment of dead ball baseball. Very, very interesting. I wish we could get in a time capsule, go back and see it. According to the testimony of Buck O'Neill and others, that was very much the style of play in the Negro Leagues with Cool Papa Bell and Oscar Charleston and others. Get them on, get them over, get them in. Josh Gibson and a few others notwithstanding. But you could go to more recent history. Whitey Herzog's Cardinals of the 80s playing on AstroTurf. Mm -hmm. Vince Coleman, Ozzie Smith, Willie McGee, Tommy Herr, bunch of jackrabbits. Even before that in the 70s, Whitey's teams in Kansas City. Hal McRae, Willie Wilson, George Brett, lots of triples. Balls hit down the line, weird caroms. That was the kind of baseball you're talking about. So we don't have to go back to before you and I were around relatively recently. If you look mm. at the long expanse of baseball history, baseball has been played that way. And it's an exciting and potentially winning brand of baseball. Look, I, I think it's a great idea. I, 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 let me present the other side of it, though, Bob, is that, okay, we do watch, uh, most of the money is made on TV. Most of us are watching on TV, not there in the mm -hmm. stands like in 1912. So we can see the strike zone. So the battle for the strike zone between pitcher and batter is good TV and home runs are great. That's the other, that's the other side of the argument. What, what would you stand on that? Well, of course, baseball really exploded with the live ball and with the advent of Babe Ruth. And it wasn't just Babe Ruth. People who know the history of the game, Gehrig and Jimmy Fox and Al Simmons and others, Rogers Hornsby, et cetera, et cetera. So that kind of baseball post-1920 is probably preferable. But that kind of baseball at various times has been mixed in with the stolen base. Sandy Koufax, Don Drysdale, we talk about them. But Maury Wills stole 104 in 1962, and he stole more than 90 in 1965, and the Dodgers won the World Series. So it isn't either or, necessarily. We're just in an either and not the or era right now, but history shows you can blend the two. All right, Bob, we're going to bring you back later, and I'm going to bring this to the panel, and we're okay. going to talk about your, uh, your proposal for the uh, postseason format as well. Bob, thank you so much. We'll talk to you in a little bit.